Got to tell you, what a gorgeous day outside today. And I think everyone pretty much spent a little bit of time outside. I know. It was so much fun seeing all the mothers and their children walking around on the sidewalks in northwest Portland. I live near 23rd, and it was just packed with moms and kids. Take a live look. Beaverton right now. Some high clouds streaming overhead, but still pretty warm. 82 degrees. Perfect weather. Maybe you're walking to the local pizza parlor for your Mother's Day dinner. Great night for that. And a busy night along the waterfront here, the Columbia River. 80 degrees there at Salty. On the Columbia, how about out at the coast? Take a look at this time lapse. This is the last seven hours slammed out there today. People escaping the heat, and I suspect before long we'll start to see those beach fires uh, building along the coast. Current temperatures outside ranging from about 80 degrees in West Lynn to 86 in Vancouver and 84 for Longview. The hot spot on the map right now is the Dells. They are 90 degrees, 82 for Bend and Hood River, 60s and 50s along the coast. So who made it into the 90s club today? Well, Cedar Hills, Beaverton, Sherwood, Bethany, and Gresham, just to name a few, made it to 90. Cedar Hills made it beyond 90 degrees, 91 there for a high. But as I mentioned, a lot of people headed to the coast today, and that's, of course, because they had perfect weather out there. Uh, the skies were mainly blue and temperatures from about 75 to 68 at Rockaway Beach. Uh, speaking of Rockaway Beach, we had this beautiful picture sent in to us by Don Best. Thank you so much for sending this in. A great day to fly a kite with your mom. And another awesome picture that was sent in by Sarah Voskovich. Here's another way to get, get out of the heat, the pool. And, of course, this little guy, I believe his name is Tucker, wasn't too crazy about the idea of hopping in the pool. Send us your pictures, news at coin.com. I love showing them. 87 for a high in Portland today and 87 in Salem. I'm kind of matching this map in my orange dress. 90 in the Dallas, 80 for Burns, and 86 degrees for a high in Redmond tomorrow. And guess what? More of the same on the way for the day tomorrow. Except for at the coast, we could be a little bit cooler. I think we will be a little cooler there uh, tomorrow. But we've got the storm track well to our north that will keep us high and dry. The one thing that I'm keeping a close eye on is this area of low pressure. This disturbance will probably spin some more high and mid-level clouds out at us uh, tomorrow. And the potential is there for some thunderstorms, mainly to the south and in the Cascades uh, for the day tomorrow. We'll see what Raincast has to say about that. Maybe a few clouds tomorrow south of Portland to start the day and along the coast. And then as we work our way through the day, we're dry. I show this, pause it here, because you can see that little blotch on our rain cast. That's potentially a thunderstorm firing up, but I think it, we should stay clear of those in the Willamette Valley. Here we are Tuesday, 8 o'clock in the morning. More clouds uh, headed our way as the onshore flow returns. And I think that'll kind of be the pattern for this week. Some morning clouds possible, and then sunshine by afternoon as we make our way into the later part of this week. How about records where we stand? 87 was the record for yesterday and our official high, 84. 92, the record for today didn't break that our high was 87 tomorrow the most likely record to fall in this mini heat wave 86 is the record for tomorrow and I'm forecasting temperatures above that for the Portland metro area throw those windows open tonight you're going to want to because again another uh, hot day on the way for tomorrow not so much at the coast the clouds returning especially late in the day and they'll be creeping up from the south so keep a close eye on that through the I-5 corridor we'll be in the mid 60s 85 for Salem 82 degrees in Albany high clouds spinning through our, our skies but again a pretty decent day for the start of our work week. Mostly sunny and warm east of the Cascades with temperatures in the 80s and another sunny day over the Cascades, 73 degrees at government camp. Here we go on to the seven day forecast, cooling down a bit as onshore flow returns Tuesday. We're back into the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but what we'll, we'll, you'll notice there on that seven day, no rain. Oh, I noticed. I, I know. I think everyone else did too. I know. Okay. I just had to point it out. And today,